I also want to talk about CD Lamb in this spot uh, because his game had to morph over the last two years. Remember during his rookie season, he actually played 91% of his snaps in the slot. This past season, 36% of his snaps in the slot. We just did an on-off splits show and Hayden did a great outline of what CD Lamb was like when one of Amari Cooper or Michael Gallup this time, guess what? We know for at least the first half of the season, both of them are not in the roster. And then hopefully Michael Gallup comes back at full health. I mean, he's greatly improved his contested catch areas. I guess my my question to you, Hayden, is we all love CeeDee Lamb coming out of the draft. He's really fun after the catch. He, he kind of moves differently with how he leans his body. But can he be great? Can he be incredible? Because we've already talked about with you know the other six wide receivers already discussed. They are great already. They are incredible. And CeeDee Lamb just hasn't gotten to that point yet, I think. Yeah, the, to me, the difference is he needed to get stronger. And training camp report said that he's put on like 14 pounds. He's like, I think he's also said that he grew an inch, which uh, doesn't I'll be betting sense. against that. But um, to me, there was a lot of plays over the middle where he'd kind of get alligator arms. And I think maybe with a little more experience, adding a little more size to him, and that will be able to iron himself out. But like you said, he's very fluid. And he, he is a great athlete and he's got uh, decent hands when he's not going over the middle. So I think that he has a, a massive ceiling, like you mentioned in the nine games without Cooper or Gallup, he averaged 14.4 or 14.1 half PPR points. That would have made him the wide receiver 12. We're drafting him ahead of that. I think that we are drafting CD lamb pretty close to his ceiling, but yeah. that's not, not never the argument that we should be making. It's like, do you see a wide receiver that should be ranked ahead of CD lamb? And to me, I think he's getting into the right range. We are, paying for the breakout but i think the breakout is coming i think that we're going to see him in uh two wide receiver sets and that was kind of something that we were always hoping to get more of and i think that if the cowboys defense isn't as good and they are the regression candidate on the defensive side this year they're gonna have to pass a little bit more if Dak prescott can roll out of the pocket a little bit better without that calf injury you could see some more big plays here and if like uh if Michael Gallup has another setback, who right. knows what happens there too. So I think that CD lambs we're, we're paying for the, the breakout, but the breakout's coming. We 100% are, uh, as you said, it's a heavy price. He finishes the wide receiver 17 in points per game last year. I'm about to give you really simplistic analysis, but CD lamb just has to score more touchdowns. <laughs> like it's kind of that simple. He had six as a rookie and six last season. Uh, we need to get that to like 12, you know, we need to see that double. I think part of that is that the Cowboys at their heart love to use Ezekiel Elliott inside the five yard line as a bruiser to score points. We see it over and over again. Sometimes he gets three straight carries in those instances. Uh, more touchdowns would help. And also, I want to keep bringing this up because, again, I don't think it's getting a lot of love from a, a national perspective or a lot of attention. Those super close to the Cowboys were not thrilled with how Kellen Moore finished the year in terms of gimmies, in terms of early passes in the progression. He almost relied on Dak Prescott to get to his secondary and tertiary reads. We need some easy stuff. And the easiest stuff can be shorter receptions to CD lamb and allow him to dominate after catch. Cause again, jumping from his first year to his second year, he forced 13 more missed tackles. It's a part of his game and a phase of his games that we saw so much at Oklahoma, but hope we see a little bit more often now at the NFL level. Those touchdowns will come when he gets bigger and he plays with more physicality. So hopefully we get it. Okay. I'm even seeing him being drafted as like the 10th overall selection as ADP is closer to wide receiver 14. So again, despite that num numerical ADP, some people are paying even more over that. Hey, 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 you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for that. But if you're new here and not subscribed, now's the perfect time to do so. You must have enjoyed it. You're here at the end, just with me and you. So hit subscribe, hit thumbs up, whatever else you want to do. Check out what we have already on the channel by hitting one of these things, or you'll be notified and you'll see it whenever we post something new.